hi welcome to all once again this uh, video lecture of uh, introduction to plastics uh, in yesterday's lecture we have seen what are the plastics then what are different types of plastics in that thermoplastic thermosetting plastic again we have seen the difference between thermoplastic and thermosetting plastics now next we will study the properties of plastics and various applications of plastics if you want to subscribe this channel please subscribe you will get interesting videos regarding the plastic engineering subjects or polymer science subjects next uh, the properties of plastics uh, we will study first and most important property the plastics can be molded to desired shape because of their name suggest plasticity this is the important most important property on which further lecture in further lectures we are going to study different processing method to plastics because of this property only we can process these plastics with the help of these many processing methods because of this plasticity property most important property next we will see the property the plastics are light in weight and at the same time they possesses good toughness strength and rigidity this is also most important property because of which we are replacing metals and some costlier components with the help of plastic because of their lighter in weight and possesses a good property such as a toughness strength and rigidity isn't it next third property you will see their high dielectric strength makes them suitable for electric insulations yes we are using plastic for electric insulation because of this property because of their high dielectric strength and they are bad conductor of electricity as well next they resist corrosion and the action of chemicals yes they are good corrosion resistant they resist the action of chemicals as well next they are less brittle than glass yet they can be made equally transparent and smooth that's why glasses are replaced by plastic material because they are less brittle plastics and they can be equally made transparent and smooth next property they possesses the property of a low moisture absorption yes plastic absorb less no no moisture absorption no i can say instead of low they are no moisture absorption next the ease with which they can be mass produced contributes greater to their popularity as wrapper and bags yes previously also i have quoted because of their plasticity property they can be produced in a mass quantity easily and they are maximally contributing to the wrappers and bags one thing remember that near about 47% maximum amount of usage of plastic is in the packaging field for the wrappers as well as for the bags this is because they can be mass produced easily next property they can easily be made colored yes we can add different additives in the plastic for then this or in next videos we are going to see what are the additives and what properties does it changes by adding the additives here one colorant is additive that we can add in the plastic and change the color of plastic this is also a good property usable they can be easily made colored next they are bad conductor of heat yes they are bad conductor of heat that's why in many application we are preferring them as an insulator of heat as well next they are hard rigid and heat resistant they are hard rigid and heat resistant this is also an important property these are the some mechanical thermal chemical properties of plastics next we will study what are the applications of plastics uh we will study these application one by one by looking into what kind of polymer it has and what are the application of that polymer first polymer is polyethylene polyethylene you are knowing that we are making 
some plastic bags, film sheet, pipes as well, tanks and again electric conducts as well we are making from this polyethylene are the examples of this polyethylene it's tough weather resistant plastic and durable plastic polyethylene it is a common application is polyethylene bags polyethylene is used in manufacturing of film sheet pipes whatever application i have quoted just now polyethylene films and sheets used as a damp proof courses membranes and curing membranes this is the regarding polyethylene next is polypropylene again it is also larger application polypropylene lightest material of all thermoplastics a good heat resistant but degrades under exposure of sunlight as well has a good abrasion resistant and hardness it is used for pipes, sheets and geomembranes. Applications, pipes, sheets and geomembranes, polypropylene. Next, third we'll see is PVC material, PVC polymer. That is nothing but a polyvinyl chloride. It is made up from monomer vinyl chloride. It is an excellent insulator used in raincoats, shower curtains, pipes for making floor tiles, electric cables, flexible sheeting, hoses, pipes, expansion joint filler, modeling, sorry, moldings, luggages, decorative wall coverings. In all these applications, we can use the PVC that is polyvinyl chloride, most popular application of plastic materials. Next is polyamide. Polyamide polymer is nothing but nylon nylon most common example of that polyamide is nylon 6 polyamide are polymers formed as a condensation product of an acid and a mine acid and the mine next week I will show you that reaction by which these polymer polyamides are made these are formed by condensation product of a acid and a mine what is condensation polymerization reaction that we will see in the polymerization process but for now also remember these polyamides are formed by condensation reaction of acid and amine they all contain characteristics amide group of CO and H amide group the most common example nylon 6 applications of a plastic next example of that polyamide are electric connectors, gears, bearings, cable, tile, rope, fishing lines, automotive wall covers, oil pans, again sports equipment, tools are the applications of that polyamide. Next polycarbonate. Polycarbonate again it is a polymer and it has an amorphous linear polyesters with excellent moldability good impact strength good temperature resistant its massive use of polycarbonate is in the manufacturing of cds or discs as well as in case of helmet face shields power tool housings cell phones housing automotive dashboards and small gears are made up of this polycarbonate material next polyxamethylene Polyxamethylene is nothing nothing but a acetyl. Acetyl. Its major uses are gear, bearings, again fuel pump components, refrigerator clips, and zippers. All these are example of this acetyl or POM in short we can say. Next is acrylic or polymethyl methacrylate. Polymethyl methacrylate acrylic in short we can say the major examples of this are sheet in case of sheet windows window pans again displays surgical instruments are made up of this acrylic material it is also a polymer next is abs material that is acronitrile butadiene stearine acronitrine butadiene stearine this is an Ethanic engineering plastic or 
that is we can say the basic monomer structure as ethylene it is made by some chemical reaction as a polystyrene isn't it then it has a low medium sorry low to medium costs good compact strength good chemical resistance high gloss surface finish a good flexural properties because of all these properties this abs is also a popular polymer for making some good applications such as the typewriter keys or laptop keys then pipes pipe fittings telephone housing again this is the chemical reaction by which we are making the abs next i have quoted some examples uh, in the tabular manner in which first plastic name is there second from that polymer which product is made and then what are the properties of that polymer you can just take a screenshot of this and read all these applications one by one i will just take the names of these applications or these polymers epoxy resin melamine formaldehyde then polyester resin urea formaldehyde urea formaldehyde and this uh, whatever polyamide and whatever previously we have seen is uh, polyester resin all these are thermosetting plastic materials you can check the applications of these as well then polymethyl methacrylate what is that is acrylic we have seen previously polypropylene polystyrene low density polyethylene high density polythene and then next further is testing of plastic what are the poly polymerization process types of polymerization process and what are the additives these things we will see in the next lecture so subscribe to this channel if you really interested in this course thank you thanks for watching